what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it has been a really hot minute since i've been on here um excuse my face i was wearing my sunglasses and my spray tan is a mess all over my face so please excuse that i am sitting right now in my new car yay this is a beautiful vehicle that is literally my dream car and i cannot believe it's mine sorry excuse daniel tiger in the background um, but yeah, we're sitting in the TJ Maxx parking lot because I can't with these. I'm just going to put my glasses on. Anyway, we're sitting in the TJ Maxx parking lot because we're going to go inside and do a little bit of shopping because there are some things that we need to get. Um, so you guys are going to come along with us to do that. And then when we get back home, we are going to do a tour of this car. Um, I got the Ford Expedition Max. It is beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. So I will show you guys, we got the XLT version, which is not like the top of the line, like all the bells and whistles, but it's up there. And so I will show you guys everything that this car has. So we got an excellent deal on it. Um, and so it was like a deal we couldn't pass up. So anyway, um, people are staring at me in the parking lot. Anyway, um, Ellie is up north with her dad right now. So it's just me and the twins. Um, <clears throat> Tim is working, so. We are gonna go ahead and head into TJ Maxx and I'll bring you guys along with. Whoo, look at my hair. <laughs> That's scary. Um, okay, you guys, I did not feel like filming inside of TJ Maxx because honestly, it's been a while since I've been like filming and stuff and it just kind of like made me uncomfy to do that. So these girls are hungry. It's about noon um, and it is time for lunch. So we are going to grab some lunch somewhere. We're gonna drive through somewhere. I don't want to get Chick-fil-A because we just had that the other day, so I don't know. Some some other drive through place, maybe like Wendy's or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, you guys, here we are at Target in the Target parking lot, and they're having a blood drive, which I did not know, so there's like a lot of people here. Um, and if I were eligible and I weren't anemic, I would totally go and donate blood. I stopped at mcdonald's because i've never given the girls mcdonald's before and i don't normally go to mcdonald's ever if we ever eat out it's usually jimmy john's or chick-fil-a um and so this was like right by target and so i was like Psh, why not so that's where we are right now um at target and the girls are eating their sandwiches which is going to be a total complete mess we're going to do that and then we're going to run into target i don't know if i'm going to film in there um but we'll see how i'm feeling <laughs> so i'm gonna drink my little diet coke and eat my sandwich you guys i just got out of my car and my credit card was laying on the ground like if i hadn't seen it laying on the ground i must have knocked it out oh my god when i i got out to give the girls their food i'm so stupid <laughs> We just got back from Target and so um I put the girls down for their nap. Um oh my gosh, this spray tan is so bad. I I put it on my face because I didn't want to put makeup on today and I did a terrible job of applying it. So you'll just have to please ignore that. <laughs> um but I do want to show you everything I got from TJ Maxx and Target. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with Target. Um I got the twins each a pair of shoes. I wanted them to each have the same pair of shoes, but they only had one pair of these um, in the size five, which is one size bigger than they're in right now, but I wanted to get them like a little bit bigger so they could wear them for a long time. But I tried them on um, Blake and they were so cute. So um, I ended up getting these and then I also got these because the print on these is so cute. I could not pass that up. Um, so I ended up just getting like two different kinds, but I mean, it will be fine. They're separate humans, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then I also ended up getting this little like tray thing. It's not a tray, it's like a, I don't know what it's called. What is it? Utensil caddy. So it's supposed to be for the kitchen. It's hearth and hand with magnolia. Um, it's supposed to be for like utensils and stuff, but I actually got it so that I can put it in our bathroom, our master bathroom upstairs, because all of our stuff is in this like um, cloth basket type of thing. And it doesn't really look very nice and it doesn't hold things um it doesn't like hold its shape so it just kind of 
like flops there and takes up a bunch of room. So I'm hoping that this will be um, better for that. Um, and then I also got this little like, what is it, vanity organizer um, for all of Tim's stuff. Um, that's all I got from Target. And then at TJ Maxx, I got these. They looked really good and um, they used to sell like this type of veggie straw, this um, sriracha type at Market Basket at Fort Polk and I miss that because they don't have Market Basket here. So I got these hoping that maybe they'll taste the same. <laughs> um, I don't know, but anyway, they're only $2.99. So I was like, what the heck? And then these are the cutting boards I was talking about. They're like really flexible. Um, and they're very like obviously thin, which is really nice. And the other side has like a, a grip on it, um, which will help like it not move around and stuff. This was only $6.99. So hopefully these work out. But yeah, so that's the other thing I got. And then these are the candles that I was talking about. Is this, what's the brand? Manly Indulgence is the brand, I guess. Um, but I got the um, flavor or the scent last call fresh shave and then bachelor pad um they smell so good like if you like the smell of like men's cologne or like um that kind of more like masculine scents then definitely go look for these at your local tj maxx because they smell incredible and they're only 7.99 per candle so yeah that's all i got Okay, now that the girls are down for their naps, I know a lot of you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to see a tour of my new Ford Expedition Max. Um, so let me get my key out and then we will go ahead and do the tour portion. Okay, you guys, here she is. This is my new Ford Expedition Max in white. This is my key, it's keyless entry. We'll start out, it's got a running board on the bottom. We'll start out in the front. Oh, I left my drink in here. Okay, so this is the driver's seat. Um, I have the parking brake on right now, but uh, this is the speedometer. And the I love this because the, um, like the actual digital speedometer shows up on here. Um, and then this is the like front dashboard the navigation system and everything. It has Apple CarPlay, which I absolutely love, um, which is like so important, especially if you have a bunch of kids or whatever and you're not trying to like mess with your phone and they wanna listen to Daniel Tiger while you're driving, you can just like click on here and um, do that. But um, then we've got our mirror here. Hi. Um, and then all of the lights and everything. Um, this is also really nice because it has this, which you can connect your garage door to. Um, and then it also has this really cool feature. It's like a, where you can look at your kids. It's cute, it's good for moms. And then it's got eyeglass holder. Um, this is where I put my phone whenever I'm driving um, and I have it plugged in for Apple CarPlay. This is the um, drive mode shifter thingy. Um, it's got a bunch of cup holders to here, to back here, and then my favorite part is this massive, um, whatever this is called, center count, center console. Um, and just for reference, this is how big it is. Like, this is my cup. I put my whole purse in here, like my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. The whole thing fits in here, with no issues. I can close it and everything. And it's it's great. Okay, let's get to the next row. My neighbors are like watching me film this. Okay, so this is the middle row, which we only have two car seats in right now because um, Ellie is up north with her dad. But um, it's got a nice little cup holder right here, um, speaker, um, easy access right here to open and close the door. Um, also, some running boards as well. Um, and then it's got I love the dark interior. Um, I feel like that hides stains pretty well. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got their little tablet rigged up in the middle so they can watch Daniel Tiger. My kids are obsessed with Daniel Tiger. But yeah, this is the third row. It's very spacious and very roomy. Um, and these seats go like all the way forward and they slide super far forward. But we have 
um, their car seats installed with the belt. So, um, yeah, their car seats are very dirty because I just fed them lunch in there um, and I need to clean that out. But yeah, this is our middle row setup for right now. Um, whenever Ellie gets back, we have to figure out what we want to do about all three car seats, the trunk, um, which unfortunately is not an automatic lift gate, but um, I can deal with that. So this is the trunk. It's absolutely massive. We have the third row down right now, but I think I am actually going to put that up. Um, so this vehicle has reclining third row. That's the button to recline the third row so it can go like up and down however you like sit or whatever. And it's got, it has a power outlet for the third row, but I can't remember where it is. But it's got um, air conditioning vents um, in the third row and the second row, which is really, really, really nice. Oh yeah, there's the... Okay. So my other favorite thing about this is the automatic seats. They just lift right up. You just press a button and boom, there they go. Yep, and then I press it for the other side. And there it is, boom. And then you just have to like flip these up. It's super simple, super easy. So, and then the middle one can go up or down depending on who's sitting there. And um, so because we got the max, we got the extended version. This is like the equivalent of like a suburban size wise. And so my double stroller fits in here perfectly and we can still fit groceries over here, groceries over here, and the third row is up. So that is like insane to me with twins you definitely need that much room yeah that's pretty much it this is a back shot of it okay you guys that was the full car tour um that was pretty much it that vehicle is literally my dream car i cannot believe that i own a ford expedition max and so if you have any questions about the vehicle itself or a car seat setup or anything like that just message me or um comment on this video message my instagram um anything like that because i'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have or anything like that but now that the girls are napping i have a lot to get done um, i have a big mess in the living room that i need to clean up and then i have a ton of laundry that i need to fold so i'm gonna get to that okay guys i just want to show you how i organized this just because i feel like it so um, I put all of our, like, my dry shampoo, my body spray that I use, some, um, Dolce & Gabbana perfume, bio oil, just, like, random stuff, my toothpicks, um, hairbrush in here, and then in here, I just put my, like, contact solution and everything, toothpaste, his toothpaste, toothbrush, um, my deodorant in here, and then my grande lash. This is what I ended up doing with this stuff, and it looks so much nicer. This is what was here, um, over here, but I ended up cleaning this out and using it for my like makeup storage for just like random makeup stuff that I have that I don't use so yeah and such as the since it's been such a long time since I've like posted a video or anything I wanted to show you guys like how I changed our master bedroom around because I hold on I'm getting a call I'll just show you really quick like how we changed everything around this is all the same um uh, but I did put the mirror right here uh, I put a little basket here. I took the rug from my office and moved it in here. We turned the office into a playroom so um, for the twins because they're getting bigger. But yeah, this is like my desk where I do like whatever editing or whatever. And then I also do all of my makeup here. So I got this little like pad to protect the actual desk because I will want to use that for my office whenever we move. So I wanted to protect the actual desk. So I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, and then this is how I organize my vanity. This is like my little makeup organizer. I will link it if I can find it online. And then this is the little mirror that I use um, to get ready in the mornings. Um, there's just my dresser. And then I put my little clothes hanger right here um, with just, I put like things that I really love that I'm like outfits or clothes that I'm like really into lately. I put that all right there. And then here's where I put my little purse storage. I just have my LV bags up here and then my really beautiful Kate Spade bag. And then Tim made another blanket ladder. So that's where we're putting all of our blankets right now. So it's not like the cutest setup in the whole world um, because it's a very small, small, small house. Everything is super outdated, but we 
like how it's set up now because I actually can use my desk on a daily basis rather than not being able to use it in the back room because Blakely is usually napping back there and so I have to be very quiet when I go back there so there's kind of like no point to do that. And then I also put this little basket in my closet to put for just like more storage which is very nice but yeah needless to say we're excited to get into a bigger house we only have a year and a half left here and then we are headed off to Dallas I'm so excited but I'm not gonna wish my time away here because um obviously it's dumb to wish your time away just enjoy life as it is and that's what I'm trying to do <laughs> but um yeah Lauren's coming over to look at the new car my face this is bad like bad this is really bad. This is all spray tan. I'm not putting it on my face anymore. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go get her so I can show her the car. All right, guys, I'm now in bed. It is much, much later. Um, I am just watching some YouTube videos. I don't even remember where I left off. I think the last time I was on here was um, when Lauren came over and we pretty much just, um, I showed her the new car and then we just kind of like hung out and chatted for, um, an hour or so. And then the girls got up and then Tim got home and we just had dinner and put the girls to bed after dinner and we've just been hanging out. We FaceTimed Ellie earlier <clears throat> and that is pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all we did today. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me go about my day and um, I hope that you enjoyed the car tour and if you want to see more videos like this then be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see um, and other than that I will see you guys in my next video so thank you for watching bye guys